Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Today we're going to talk about the first steps when you're getting started with Linux, maybe just getting things going. Now in this case, this is kind of moving my distro over, getting everything set up the way I want everything set up. So I wanted to make sure that this was as much as possible um, so I'm not recording the video, I'm just showing this. The only thing that I did to this system, uh, since I put it onto the, the USB hard drive, is I installed the simple screen recorder, so I could simply record the screen. <laughs> like, how funny how that works. And I ran the basic updates. So of course, um, what we're gonna show today is just maybe some general things. A lot of what I'm gonna do is gonna be specific to the budgie desktop environment, but it'll hopefully get you asking some basic questions. So I've also came in here and I've logged into my NAS, uh, which contains my mobile home folder. And the mobile home Debian is my uh, is my most um, uh, most used one. So what I want to do first is I actually want to get some software installed. Now uh, Solace does have a nice package manager, but since I have a script to do kind of to do this kind of stuff, I'm just going to do it in a terminal window. I'm just going to open up a terminal and I actually have the script over here. Now the thing is, is that uh, I think it's called install. It should be over here somewhere. There it is. Um, it is set for a, uh, for something Debian based. So I'm using apt. So in Solus, we just need to do EO package. Uh, of course we need to spell that right. Uh, let's see, EOPKG, so that's what we need. So these are the applications I like to install. I don't know if Chromium, in fact, let's just go ahead and do the Chromium for this because some distributions it's Chromium, some of them it's Chromium-browser, I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and then we're just gonna do uh, sudo um, and run the line. Uh, hopefully everything here is in the repos. I don't know. This is one of the downsides of Solace is I'm just not sure if all these are available. They should be, but eh, we'll see. Uh, are already installed, not going to be installed. So Thunderbird is already there. Uh, so everything else though, it looks like it's going to be running stuff. So good. Well, that's actually downloading. The next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to minimize that script. Everything that's here on the desktop, I want on the desktop of my system. So I'm just going to uh, ooh, not resize the uh, side panel. <laughs> I'm going to grab everything and just kind of move it all over if I'm able. There we are. I can't see where the side panel starts. That's kind of a downside of this theme. It, it looks cool, but it's kind of hard to spot. Uh, documents. Uh, so we're just going to run my documents over here. And so this is going to, why is email in there? I don't know why email's in there. But these are some basic things that I need uh, in the documents. Now in Solus, we have uh, the control H to show the um, to show the uh, hidden folders and files. So now what I want to do is these guys are copying. Those are already copied, it looks like. So now what I need to do is I need to copy everything else over. So Thunderbird is going to take all of my emails from Thunderbird. Mozilla will take all of it'll basically hold all my bookmarks and other settings I had in in uh, uh, my uh, Firefox. And Cody's going to keep all my library settings, so I don't have to redo any of that kind of stuff. We're going to go ahead and merge that over. So uh, those are moving over. Now we'll go into the config. I could just drag the config file over and merge them, but I just want to take a closer look at what I'm doing. Now you'll notice that I'm not absolutely just dumping an entire home folder. I've actually selected everything that I would like to be shared between the systems. I don't necessarily want everything. Uh, fonts is nice because this kind of keeps a uh, record going of the various fonts that I'm using. And the one that's going to take a little bit of time is evolution because that's pretty large. All right, so now coming over here, we can see that we have successfully installed all of those applications. Now, usually I might take that script and just run it as a bash, but it was it's simple, simply a one-line script to install. So I just went ahead and did that. So now that's going. It's going to take us a little bit of time to get this going. So let's go ahead and start doing some Budgie specific things. Um, Budgie itself, if you've not used it, um, it's one of the more modern desktops. So you have the ability to 
um, to add your online accounts. There's a lot of other nice functions to it. The Raven menu is, is very nice. Um, you have notifications over here. We have applets. You can add different things to these. I like it for the quick ability to switch around your inputs. And if you're playing some music files or whatever, uh, you're actually going to have your media player controls down here as well. We do have the settings option. There's two different uh, settings that you'll find in here. This is based on, uh, on um, GNOME. And so we do have their own budgie desktop settings. There's also a standard uh, settings as well. We have the ability to enable a light theme or a dark theme. Let's go ahead and do the dark theme for now. <clears throat> uh, Built-in theme, the components will override. Uh, I kind of like that turned off, so we'll go ahead and do that. Desktop, here we have the ability to work on the desktop. Uh, I like my home directory, I like my network. I like my trash can, mounted volumes, I don't really care. All right, uh, fonts, I don't really care. Everything looks fine to me. This, again, everything seems fine to me. Now, we can make adjustments to the bottom panel. Uh, I, these, This is one of the only things I don't really like is that these are actually more like you're pinned to the taskbar thing. I'm just going to go ahead and keep those as they are. I don't really need anything else. However, I do want my list of tasks across the bottom. So I'm going to select, click on this guy and add to the panel. We're going to add our uh, it's not switcher task list. So we're going to add this to the panel. Now we have our tasks at the bottom of the panel, which is what I really like to have. So we can actually add another top panel if we want. Um, there's really, I, I kind of like how it's set up. We have the start, we have uh, the icon list, we have, this is technically in the center. I don't really want it in the center. I'm going to grab it and move it up so it goes right along with my icon task list. Sometimes on Budgie, I'll install a, um, a Cairo dock, but I'm not going to bother this time. I'm just going to try and run it like this. We have notifications, we have clock, we have our Raven sidebar control. So everything here is good. Like I said, if you want to add a panel to the top or a panel to the side, you can do that as well. I don't think there's any other applets I want. Um, it's pretty much pretty much built really the way I like it. So uh, I'm okay with that. Let's see what's on auto start. There's nothing right now. Uh, there is another settings, which is closer to your GNOME settings. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and close this, close that without saving it. All right, so over here, uh, let's look at our backgrounds. Uh, the flower is pretty cool, but I want to see if there's a Solace-specific background, something that says Solace in it, just to give the, uh, give the distro its name when I'm doing videos from it. Okay, there's some, there's some. This is nice. I think I've always kind of been partial to that one. It'll match my theme pretty well, too. And then let's do something different for the login screen. We'll do this one for the login screen. In fact, you know what? Let's swap, swap this around. I'm going to go ahead and do this for the main background. And I'll do the, the gray one for the login screen. All right. Notifications. I'm okay with all the notifications. If they annoy me, I'll change them later. Okay, region, language, that's okay. The online accounts, and uh, I'll add the, my uh, next cloud later. As far as services, uh, everything is good there. Sharing, we are good. Sound, I'm pretty sure we're going to be good at this point. <clears throat> all right so we've run through all of our basic settings i think everything's there so now if i uh let's go ahead and go into the software center now uh there's that one last application i would like installed and that would be our chromium so let's go ahead and look for that let's do chrome how about chromium Sure, if I can get Chromium browser. Hmm. I don't want Chrome. 
I will want Skype, so let's go ahead and install that. Fortunately, I do need to use that with clients. So that's going to take a little bit of time, and then we'll go back and see if I can find out if Chromium is in here. <clears throat> in fact, I know where Chromium is certainly in Snap packages. The thing that made Solace good is when they added Snap compatibility um, because that gave us the um, that gave us the ability to install a lot of other things. Now, I don't want to run that one. The software center is still running, so I need to wait for Skype to finish its thing, and then we'll go ahead and uh, uh, we'll then go ahead and run the uh, Chromium browser. I'm pretty sure I have that right. I don't use Snaps a lot. I think it's sudo snap install Chromium browser. All right, well, those are going. Let's see what else I can do. Um, let's unpin that. Let's unpin this. Um, I'm going to unpin the software center and it will disappear when I'm done working with it. Uh, files, I'm gonna unpin that one as well. And then other things I would like to pin is, uh, I don't use that enough. I wanna, I gotta remember how to pin it. I think what I need to do is I need to run it. Nope, there we go, I can drag it. All right, uh, internet, I want Mozilla. So I use, uh, the reason I use two different clients for email is I will use, um, I use Thunderbird for some emails and I use Evolution for all of my, um, all of my um, uh, business stuff. So I use different, uh, different things. All right, let's see. And I guess the other one that I want is Cody. And I'll adjust the order later. All right, Skype is taking forever and it seems to be stuck. I'm gonna close that. Um, hopefully we are not gonna jam it up. Oh. It's Chromium, not Chromium dash browser. <laughs> so I use Firefox for my basic, uh, for all my basic web browsing stuff, and I use um, Chromium for my YouTube stuff. So that's downloading the Snap package for Chromium. In the meantime, I'll boot up Firefox, and hopefully, with moving everything over, I should have all of my bookmarks and stuff should be intact. So I'll go ahead and boot up that. Wow, it's taking Firefox a long time to load. Firefox, are you alive, little bug? <clears throat> there it goes. Hey, both instances showed up. All right, so now you'll see that uh, it does have all of my uh, links there. Um, it did give me my kind of setup, and it does still have just the things I want, except it added eBay. Start page, duck, duck, go, and for some reason eBay got itself added to that. I don't need you. Start page, duck, duck, go is good enough. Duck, duck, go. No, duck, duck, go should be good enough for me. All right, so that is good. So now that is back the way I want it, and now Chromium should be installed through snap packages so internet chromium so throw chromium down here as well so now i have firefox chromium mozilla evolution gimp cody and uh you know what i actually took rhythm box off but i'm going to put rhythm box back on because there's actually some podcasts i've been listening to lately and rhythm box is great for that okay so now uh, i'm not going to boot it up but i'm pretty confident that doing that if i were to boot up my thunderbird it would automatically now have all of my uh all of my um uh emails already set up evolution i would boot that up it has everything set up but i have to re-enter all the passwords when i do that so that is good uh firefox seems to be working it did re 
uh, excuse me, readjust my uh, home page, but that's okay. I'm all right with that for now. Um, I usually just boot it up and use the other system anyway. All right, let's see if there's anything else I think I needed to do. I guess just figure out what was up with Skype. So uh, let's go ahead and type in Software Center again. And let's go with third party. Let's see what happened with Skype. If this doesn't work, I think there's a snap for Skype as well. All right. So I think that uh, I can pretty much declare at this point in time that uh, the system should be pretty much ready to go. If there's anything else, um, if there's anything else, I'll have to uh, change those small adjustments as I go. But but as it is for right now, it looks like I'm ready to rock Solace Budgie for a couple of weeks and then uh, see what I think of it after after some time. So hopefully this was handy for getting you uh, set up from a fresh install into getting ready for production. Again, a lot of this I was able to do pretty quick because I have that home folder saved, which has a lot of settings. I knew which applications I was able to uh, run a quick script to install most of those um, uh, out of the gate. So with that being said, thanks for coming along. Uh, don't forget to check the links in the description down below to learn how you can help support the channel if you got something valuable down here. Um, so with that, thanks for watching and hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.